Hey, welcome back to Snapbolt Games. My name is Max, and this is Lewin. And we are going to do the intro together. Then I am going to play some games of modern today. Um, before I get into this deck tech and what we're doing, let me shout out my channel. It's youtube.com slash snapbolt. There's a link in the description below. You can go to the channel, check it out. Lots of good modern content on there. Lots of good popper. Um, so if you like my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd appreciate it. You can throw a like on this video too. Throw a like on there for Luz here. He hasn't helped me with an intro for a while, but uh, he is stoked. We just went on a walk together, so that was nice. But here, I'm going to be playing some Monkey Blade today. And uh, what this deck is, we're basically just a Ragavan Stoneforge Mystic deck. And then we're just like a mono blue deck, essentially splashing Ragavan Bolt in red, and then Prismatic Ending Stoneforge Mystic and some Planeswalkers in white. But all of our lands produce blue. Oh, it looks like he's about ready to get out of here already. He's like, why, why do I have to stay up here? Um, why don't I just go get him a treat? You want to get a treat? And then I'll come back and finish the deck deck, because I think he wants to go. Okay, got him in his treat, and now let me go through this deck deck where I can actually focus on it. Okay, so again, we're a, basically a blue kind of controlling deck, and we are a Stoneforge Mystic deck. We have Sword of Feast and Famine, Batter Skull, Cauldre Complete, and then our creatures that can wear the equipment, like Sword, are Stoneforge Mystic itself, Snapcaster Mage, and Ragavan. So we only have 10 creatures in the deck. It's not many. But, I mean, all these creatures, like Ragavan, you don't need an equipment on it. This card is just so impressive, and I just want to keep playing with it. So we're going to try it here. Um, but again, we're a mono blue deck. Every single one of our lands, out of our 23 lands, they all produce blue mana. So there's no way for us to have two mana in play and not be able to cast counter spells. So that's really cool. The downside is if we only have fetches and basics in hand, we have to fetch shock in order to cast Ragavan. But that's just part of this deck, I think. We try to, you know, alleviate that stress by playing four Spire Bluff Canal because we don't really need to cast Ending on one all the time. But with four Spire Bluff, we can just go Spire Bluff into Ragavan or Bolt on one without taking damage. So I really like the way this mana base is built. Um, this is not entirely my list. This list has kind of been floating around. I didn't, you know, just kind of take my own spin on it. We're playing a Teferi Hero of Dominaria. It's just a good card. It's another way to win. So that's nice. But again, we're just a Stoneforge Mystic deck. Four Counterspell, four Stoneforge. Monkey is just too good to leave on the sidelines. The dash is actually kind of sick with the equipment as well. Like in a late game, dash it in, equip sword, attack, untap all our lands, play something else. That's insane. Um, and again, we have a ton of counter magic in the deck. One Spell Snare, one Spell Pierce, four Counterspell, four Archmage Charm, Two cryptic command i could have run some force of negation first i should have i should have done it already but shout out to card hoarder sponsor of the channel right now they hooked me up with a fat rental account i rent all these cards through card hoarder check them out if you're interested in getting a magic online rental account i like them a lot they let you get the versions you want and uh it's just it's just really easy to do um so check out card hoarder big shout out to them i actually had an account with card hoarder I've had it for a month or so now. They've been sponsoring me. And I would just kind of reach out. I was like, you know what? I can't build all the decks I want. I don't really have cards myself on Magic Online, except I have like an entire popper collection. But I was like, I can't really build the modern decks I want. Could I get a bigger rental account? And they just were immediately upgraded me. They're, they're really nice there. So go check them out and support them if you, if you want. But yeah, no Force Negation. It's still like 100 ticks. Ragavan is still like 100 ticks. So I couldn't get Force Negations. I wanted to run two or three. Um, but a lot of the lists I see that are playing this deck are playing zero force and negation um, and just playing the fair counter spells. So I was like, all the lists I'm seeing don't have force and negation. I would run it. But I mean, this deck was still like, I don't know, close or 800 ticks or so. So it's still an expensive deck. 10 fetch lands, a bunch of dual lands, and then four Ragavan is 400 ticks right there. Um, so that, that that's a lot. But uh we have an alternative plan other than the Stoneforge Mystic Ragavan plan, and that's we just have a bunch of Planeswalkers. We have five Planeswalkers. Two Teferi. This card's really well positioned right now. It stops Cascade, so you can just stop the Rhino deck with this. And this is just an insane card. Uh, really good against other control decks. The passive is just way overpowered. This card's sweet. Two Jace, because Jace... Oh, is this art? Uh, I thought the art was like off a little bit. I thought he was more centered in, in the image, but maybe, maybe I'm just wrong. And then a Teferi that I added that most people do not have just because 
Teferi is sweet. In the sideboard, we have a, a second Spell Pierce, double Narset, double Path, a Prismaria Command. This is nice out of the sideboard when you're playing against Artifact decks. Um, speaking of Artifact decks, we have two Stony Silence. I think this card's really well positioned. It's good against like the food decks with um, Cookbook and stuff. Uh, and it's also insane against Affinity. Three Rest in Peace. Hate the Graveyard decks. Two Subtlety. This card has been pretty impressive, actually. A Sword of Fire and Ice for, you know, blue and or red decks when we want it. And a Timely that I threw in there. And uh, that's the deck tech. Let's just get right into round one. Let's go. All right. Round one. I do not know how to say this name. Not going to even try. Would you like to play first? Yes. Turn one monkey. So they're going to reveal a companion here. We have no companion to reveal. But our deck is full of good cards. Gigantha. Interesting. Well, I'm keeping this. This hand is great. I'm going to lead Tarn and just fetch Triome here. It's just nice to get the Triome out of my deck. I could lead a tapped Hallowed Fountain um, and then play Island, but I'm going to crack this Tarn at some point anyway. I could save it for Jays, but I think I like just getting the Triome here. I have 10 fetches in the deck, so let's just go Tarn pass. And then end of their turn, just get Triome. Forest. And they have Gigantha. Is this... This just a Jund type deck? I don't really know. Let's get Triome. And then let's just go Island Stoneforge Mystic. I think I'm just supposed to get Batter Skull. I could get Cauldra Complete. But against Ignoble Hierarch, I feel like my Stoneforge Mystic is very likely to die. So I'm just going to get Batter Skull. Because now if they kill the Stoneforge, I'm still like relatively close to just casting this batter skull i can even archmage charm steal their ignoble hierarch which is kind of sick especially if they miss a land drop oh they're dashing in a ragavan they really want to hit do they not have another land i'm actually going to block with stoneforge here and just tr oh exalted uh, i forgot about that so i can give them the treasure and then I can steal Ignoble Hierarch. I'm just going to let this happen. Just the Exalted just wrecked me. Do they have another one mana play here? Are they... A glass full Mimic? What are they playing? I don't know, honestly. It could just be like some type of aggro deck with this also. Maybe some Aspiring Spike deck. He loves this card. I'm not really sure to be honest. Okay. Well, this is actually a great draw. Because I can just play Tarn and Pats. And then if they try to Ragavan again, I can just bolt it. And I can ignore the Ignoble Hierarch for now. And then I can just still put in Batter Skull. So this looks good. A classic sto slow storm stoneforge mystic where you just kind of don't do anything you play it and then you don't do anything next turn because you're going to put in batter skull but it's really good having a little iced coffee here no attacks leaving up mana um okay let's just activate do they really have a response? Four mana collected company? I thought that could happen. Right? I mean, this resolves. I still have a lightning bolt. Are they going to hit that 3-1, the PV card that exiles a card from my hand makes it cost two more? No, they have Academy Manufacturer. I think I'm going to bolt this. They're going deep on this deck. Jeez. All right, let's fetch shock. Bolt the Manufacturer. Because then I don't want them to create three tokens, basically. And then put in Batter Skull. This is looking good now. There's a Ragavan, too. Wow. Ragavan seems really strong. I can dash in Ragavan. Alternatively. Because if I dash in Ragavan and they chump, then I don't have Archmage's Charm up. 
why don't I just attack with Germ and then shock and Hallowed Fountain play Ragavan and leave up Archmage Charm? Seems great to me. I think I'm in just a commanding position here. And just casting this Ragavan seems like really strong. Would you like to pay two life? Yes. So I'm playing Ragavan with Archmage's Charm up, and I also have Snap Bolt up here. So I guess this is the first Snap Bolt deck I'm playing on this channel. And I've played a, a bunch of modern leagues now, so it's about time that I'm playing a Snap Bolt deck. I didn't even talk about that. So I guess they just have Glass Bowl Mimics to try to make as many Academy manufacturers as they can and then just go off with all their food and stuff. They probably have another Collected Company here, which I'm just going to leave up counter for. I'm not going to play anything. I'm just feeling like I'm really far ahead at this point. I can just start attacking with both of these or even all of them. All right, let's just start by attacking with... I guess I'm not going to attack with Stoneforge because one, they might, I mean, if they Coco here, I'm going to counter it, but I'd rather just leave up Stoneforge. I'm not sure. I don't think I need to attack with it. This is a Coco. Let's just counter this. Counter target spell. And then I get my treasure here. And I could just play another Stoneforge Mystic, get Cauldra Complete. Exile the Manufacturer, nice. Cannot cast that, but I can cast Stoneforge Mystic. Which seems good. I could also just get Sword of Feast and Famine to give my Batter Skull Pro Green. It might just be better than Cauldra Complete here. All right. I'm also up to 19. They only have two manufacturers left. I don't think I'm going to get comboed here. Feeling pretty safe. All right, there's the... I know this is some... This is like... You can kind of go infinite, right? With this plus this. And you can Coco into both of them. But now I just have Sword of Feast and Famine either on my Ragavan or my Germ, whichever I choose. So this is like insanely good for me. So I play Spire Bluff because I'm going to untap all my lands. And if I just put it on the Germ, I don't get to get extra value with this uh, by getting treasures, but I just kill them in two hits. And I gain a bunch of life. I get a 6-6. Six, six. Maybe Ragavan is better because I can cast cards off their library. Let's just go activate this. Oops. Put in Sword of Feast and Famine. Maybe just equip Ragavan. It's close. I think I do want my treasures. And then I can just win over a slightly longer amount of time. They have a response here with one mana? They don't have a path, do they? Target creature gets plus... Oh, I didn't read this card. Sacrifice X squirrels, target creature gets plus X minus X? I just punted. I, I just thought that this ability on the bottom was plus X plus X. I've never played against this card. Okay. just me I just messed up. That was a huge mistake. Could cost me the game, because now I don't get to untap my lands. I was planning to have Snap Charm up, but uh, I just punted. I, I might be fine, but I also might not be. Uh, it just, it, it sucks, but... Nothing I can do now. It's just a pretty bad mis misplay against a, a card. I, I should read this card. 3-3 three, three for 3, Legendary Creature Squirrel, Forest Walk. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, those tokens... Plus that many 1-1 one, one green squirrel tokens are created instead. Why doesn't it say create those tokens plus that? Oh, plus that many 1-1 one, one green squirrel tokens. Okay. I mean, this is pretty good against that. If three cards left, they're at five. So they're still dead to equipping the, the germ with Sword of Feast and Famine. Okay. So now they can create... They can play another creature. They have a Ragavan. Okay, it's fine. 
and they get three tokens plus a squirrel, and they have a red creature to block with. But they're gonna have to block here on this. Still, I still might just be fine. So let's go play Hallowed Fountain. Equip here. They only have one squirrel right now. And then let's just hit. They have to chump with Magus. Wait, why did this not? Oh, it just created this plus a squirrel because they didn't have manufacturer. I see, I see. Okay, so this dies. And I still have, I have snap bolt up, right? Oh, I could have snap bolted that and gone for lethal. Wow, I just, I'm playing terribly here. That's okay. I think we're still okay, but oh man, this is a disgusting game from me. So apologize if I lose this game, but I still think I'm fine, but oh man, feels bad. I could have just snap bolted, gone for the win, and now they have a Coco. And I cannot snap Archmage's Charm. So I just need to let this resolve. Okay. I could I could snap bolt the Chatterfang in response, or this, but uh, I'm just gonna let it happen. Tireless Tracker Magus. So this should be fine. They get to make they get to make two things and then two squirrels, and then I just snap bolt the Magus and then kill them. They have a bunch of clues, sure. And they can just play... Oh, they play Ragavan? Oh my god, I could have won this game. I mean, again, I still might be fine, but this is disgustingly bad. And they have a million clues now, too. They have drawn triple collected company, but no excuse. I'm just, um, I'm just punting here. I think I had the win last time and they have a tracker in play, which is pretty sketchy for me. Just going to bolt the Magus. I guess then I can go Jace bounce the Ragavan. Snap bolt. Even though I'm misplaying. I'm getting bailed out by Snap Bolt here. Okay, and then I just go Jace, Bounce, kill them. Let's hope I'm not missing anything else. <laughs> oh man, everything else is green. I tried I tried to give them this game, but Batter Skull was sort of feast and famine, just too strong. You can't dash in at instant speed, right? You can only dash in on your turn. So they're they're gonna sack all their clues and try to put a permanent. Okay, sure. I guess they can maybe survive here. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. So they can chump with Stoneforge. Thank god they don't have an equipment. They get another clue. <laughs> and they can send everything at Jace. <laughs> Alright, do I want to equip Sword of Feast and Famine to something else? I think so. I'm at 35. Um... Sure. <laughs> I probably should have just left it on the germ, actually, so I can just... Oh, they can sack Clue for this tracker. And then they have another Ragavan coming down. They can kill my Jace if they send with everything. They're, like, <laughs> just punishing my, my misplay so much. I think I was just talking too much. So they make, make a bunch more squirrels here, which is fine. But they can activate this again. It's actually doing work against me. They draw a card. They still have a Ragavan in hand. I'm surprised they're playing Ragavan, but I guess it makes sense. They're just four color. 
I saw a different deck, but I don't think it had this card as well. Then I played against it in a league when I was playing with my brother. But I, uh, yeah, I fucked this game up. I, I know I did, but it is what it is. We'll just still try to win from here. Just try to not get tilted. Also, I don't want to use, like, my entire clock here. I'm still at 35. I still have Sword of Feast and Famine. I know they have Ragavan in hand still. Because I bounced it in one other card that they just drew off Clue. They have this Gigantha as well. There's Monkey. They're, they're going to need one more... They're going to need one more blocker. I guess they could crack a food to gain three life now to survive as well. And they should kill the Jace, I think. They're not killing Jace? That seems pretty bad. I think they should kill the Jace. Could have left the fetch land to brainstorm shuffle, but... I'm fine just getting a tap land. Alright, well, there's Teferi. Let's just go brainstorm. I guess I'll just play Teferi first. Bounce the Ragavan. And then they're going to need to hit something off Cryptologist out of the top three cards in my library, and I can Jace brainstorm to try to make sure that doesn't happen. So let's go... Bounce this draw, and then Jace Brainstorm. There's a Spell Snare, sure. Nice, and I have a Bolt too. So let's put back Spell Snare, Flooded Strand. Equip here. They can crack food to survive, but I could just Bolt them then. They're adding black mana. Oh, they can sack a bunch of squirrels to kill my germ. I needed to kill Chatterfang first. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, this stays equipped to Stoneforge, at least. So I can untap my lands, potentially. So I'll just hit with Stoneforge, and then I can just bolt them. I still should be fine. Jesus. <laughs> They're going to activate. I know the top two cards are not permanents that matter. It's Spell Snare plus Land. So they need to hit on the last one. And I have a Lightning Bolt. If they hit, happen to hit a Snapcaster Mage or a Stoneforge Mystic. And they have no more food to... They cannot make Black Mana anymore. So they need to hit out of the last card. They need to hit. They do hit the a Ragavan, um, but I'm just gonna bolt it. Oh, but then they don't die. Still, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> oh my god. And then they have to discard their Ragavan. This has pro green. I never should have unequipped the Sword of Feast and Famine against this. There's been I've I've misplayed probably like. 10 times in this game or something crazy. Okay, so they can they can sack a bunch of oh they don't have black mana right now either, which is something to note. So maybe I just go, let's see, I have four, five, six, seven. I can go equip Sword of Feast and Famine here, and then equip Batter Skull here. And then I think I'm in a good spot if I do that. They cannot make black mana, right? Yeah. So let's just do this. And then I'm going to leave it equipped. I could have also bounced my batter skull, vialed it back in, and then equipped sword there. But I chose not to do that. I'm doing everything I can to throw this game. Opponent is making me work for it. They crack clue. 
They have no food right now. They can make a food with Gilded Goose, but can they beat a 7 8 doubly equipped Stoneforge Mystic? <laughs> I have the, the easy win when I could have just attacked with um, my Germ Sword earlier. Oh, they get a clue, sure. And then are they going to crack to draw? They do. So they have a 13-12 cracker. I'm shocked they didn't send in a bunch of things to kill the Jays. So that I think that was a mistake on their part. And another Ragavan or a Magus. Another Ragavan. Clue. Can't believe they hit on that Cryptologist as well. So they need to kill this Jace to protect their Ragavan. They revealed Flooded Strand. Target opponent reveals the top X cards. You may put a non-land permanent with mana value X or less onto the battlefield under your control and the rest on the bottom. So I'm drawing a random card. If they don't attack and kill Jace, and then they die. Yeah, they are doing this. Okay. So I get to just eat two squirrels. They're still in chump mode. Okay. And prismatic ending should do it. Way too hard to win this game. Jeez. I tried to do, like I said, everything I could to throw, but I managed to get there. I don't even know how good subtlety is. I feel like path is should be decent against all their creatures. I don't think I want Sword of Fire and Ice because Sword of Feast and Famine I think is just better. Spell Snare seems terrible. I think Spell Pierce is also pretty bad. And then I would need to cut two more cards. I don't think I need Teferi in this matchup. They're just like, have, they're like an entirely creature deck. I think Teferi is good against um, Collected Company. Could side out a Jace as well, just because they have so many things to attack the Jace with. This looks good to me. I think Subtlety is worth just being able to like Stoneforge Mystic and then Subtlety their play. I never even also, I never also got Cauldra complete. And I think my Stoneforge Mystics are pretty safe in this matchup. Just got to watch out for their Chatterfang. I, I, I just punted because again, I thought that Chatterfang, when I read it before, I read it as plus X plus X and then I didn't reread it when they play it. So that's a lesson I've learned so many times myself that I still am obviously not following, but read the cards every time if you're not sure. And even if you are sure, I thought I knew what that did, and I didn't read it, and then I was wrong. So if your opponent plays a card, just read it. And uh, it's it's funny, you can also tilt your opponents at, like, GPs and stuff. They play, like, a card like Stoneforge Mystic that's, like, really highly played, or, like, Ragavan. Just be like, oh, let me read that. And then they get tilted because they think you don't, you, like, don't play that much, you don't know what you're doing. Um, so it's really fun to just, like, pick up a card like Jace the Mind Sculptor, or, like, if they play a counter spell, just like be like, let me just see this one. Let me read it just to make sure. And then <laughs> it's just funny. Uh, this thing looks awesome. I've definitely done that at GPs. They mulligan to six. We don't have removal in this hand, but we have Ragavan into Stoneforge with a Sword of Feast and Famine as well. Noble Hierarch. Okay. They're probably just playing like six Hierarchs or something. Let's just go Steam Vents, Pay to Life, Ragavan. And then I threatened to just hit with Ragavan next turn. I know they can probably play a creature to stop it, but I still don't. I guess I could have sided out some number of Ragavans, but I think I like them, especially with all the equipment to put on them. Okay, they don't have a good block here. Interesting. Path. Path is great. I'm going to start by going land, attack. Now I'm going to fetch Shock, Hallowed Fountain, Stoneforge Mystic. 
I'm gonna just keep my treasure around. It's a wooded foothills that I can't play. Still really good though. Let's get Hallowed Fountain. Yes. Stoneforge Mystic. Now do I want to get Batter Skull or Cauldron Complete? I think I want Batter Skull. Because I can put the Sword of Feast and Famine on it. And then that's just a really nice combo. And I still have Path up here to protect myself if they like go for Coco or anything. Could have just left up Archmage's Charm there, but... I, I like uh, playing the Stone Forge. This looks like a collected company. It is okay. So I do I do have a path here, which is nice, and I have a treasure to play around Magus. Just a one mana two one that can ramp you. It's just insane. Okay, so they have this combo. Which one do I want to path? So they can make black mana, but they don't have any squirrels right now. I probably want to path this. And do I path right now? I think I... Hmm. Not sure. I think I'm going to just path later. Should I just path? No, then they can make a food. I think I'm just supposed to path now. Not 100%. Because I had to use my treasure, there's probably no reason to do that because I could draw a bolt. But I still think that's a fine line. There's a Teferi. I mean, Teferi bounce Chatterfangs. Not bad. They have a red mana. Again, I can also just leave up Archmage's Charm here. Pass the turn and then put in Batter Skull. That's probably just better. Let's just pass. I don't get to attack with Ragavan this turn, but I'll be able to put in Batter Skull and then next turn put in Sword of Feast and Fam and equip and do like a bunch of stuff. And if I have to Archmage Charm, I can. So I like this line. Magus of the Moon. It's obviously good against me. Could just counter it. But I just don't know if I need to. The problem is I won't really be able to cast spells with that in play. So I kind of am leaning towards just countering it. Just waiting on the batter skull. I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna counter it. I guess they could have Veil of Summer here as well. That would just be a, such a big blowout. Should I play around Veil by just ignoring it, put in Batter Skull, put in Sword of Feast and Famine, and then start attacking with that? I can also equip my Ragavan with Sword. That way I threaten to make treasures to cast more stuff. I guess... I guess it might actually be better to play around Veil. All right, I still should get Island though, and then I'm actually just gonna go a little greedy and let it resolve. Um, I keep changing my mind. I should just stick with my initial gut gut feeling of just countering it. If they don't have another great play this turn, I think it's better just to get the Magus out of there. Now this turn I can go Violin Sword with Stoneforge, equip Ragavan, attack, untap all my lands, and then also play Teferi if I want. Which seems good to me. Let's just get another basic at this point. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm also going to make a treasure here, so I could just cast Batter Skull. Put in Sword. They can't sacrifice any squirrels because they don't have any right now. Oh, they can. They could have sacked itself to kill this, but they don't want to. And then I get to untap all my lands. They discard a card. I make a treasure. I can maybe play a spell off their deck. Wow. Sword of Feast and Famine Ragavan is insane. 
and it's a tracker. Yeah, I like playing that. Is that better than either playing Batter Skull or something else? I think so. At 13, but playing a tracker seems pretty enticing. It's just really good value. So I already played a land. Should I equip the tracker? I'd rather have my Ragavan equipped, I think. So, no. Okay. Haven't drawn Counterspell this league yet. They're just making a food. They make a squirrel. Okay. I think this deck has some infinite combo with this plus the manufacturer, right? How does it work? They make a token, then they make three tokens, then they make extra squirrels. All right, they're dashing that in. I'm going to just block with tracker here. Why are they dashing that? Because they can have a blocker. I'm just going to trade here. I don't really need the tireless tracker. That was that was interesting. I don't know if that was a good play from them. I mean, I've played this match terribly, so I can't really talk. But counterspell is actually great. So I want to lead on Hallowed Valen. I'll just pay two life. Let's go to Fairy. I want to play a pre-combat because I think I'm going to get to hit here. And then I get to untap all my lands, which is nice. So now they can't play anything. It's just not used to fairy yet. Let's just go hit with Ragavan. Okay, I get the hit. And then let's go triggers on the stack. Let's see what I get from Ragavan. It's a manufacturer. That's sweet. So let's go float mana. And then they discard their last card. I untap all my lands. I'll probably Stoneforge Mystic with the mana, put Batter Skull in. And then I can cast Manufacture and a Counterspell up. Cast Manufacture. I'll just leave up Island Island, even though it's kind of a tell, it doesn't matter. And should I just bounce the Chatterfang right now? Um, yeah, then I can just counter it. They create a food, sure. Cryptic, nice. Ragavan just doing so much. Also, not even playing optimally. This is my first game with the deck. So I, I need a little practice, but still looking fine here. Just going to counter... Oh, definitely just going to counter this and let them have the, the squirrel thing is fine. They can play Chatterfang here. But then they're tapped out. So if I create a treasure with Ragavan, I create three things. Kind of sick. Also, can I just tap their team... And then kill them. Four, eight, nine, ten. Yep. And they can't play any spells because they're Teferi. Tap all creatures your opponent control. Draw a card. And then just attack. Okay, nice. GG's. Again, totally punted game one, but didn't matter because Sword of Feast and Famine was just too much for... They're like, all their creatures are green for the most part, except for Ragavan and Magus. So I was able to get there, and I'll see you in round two. All right, round two here. We're on the play. This hand is not very good. I'm going to keep it. Just hope Bolt is good in this matchup. And we, I mean, we have so much interaction that if Bolt is good, then this hand is can be very good. So it just depends. If we're against like a control deck or a combo deck, we might just be in a lot of trouble, but if we're against another creature deck, yeah, which hopefully we are, 
Okay, well, it might be dredge. Wonder if I'm supposed to just bolt that? They're just gonna sack. I think I am. They're obviously gonna sack it, but maybe they wanted to sack later. It's obviously not a good play. Sacred cow make a food. Okay, so this is just mono red um Vengevine, I think. I've seen this deck around. Now we have Counterspell up, and we just need to draw any land for this Archmage Shrine would be massive. Maybe it's not what I think, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. It's like Neonate, then like a bunch of discard outlets, Vengevines, Blazing Rootwalla, the red uh, Rootwalla. And I'm, I, I don't know all the cards in the deck, but we'll, we'll learn as we go. The fact that they didn't sack immediately, or maybe they wanted to wait till next turn. I think I'm just going to counter this. Yeah. I don't want them to discard Vengevine, cast another creature, and then Vengevine me. I know I can bolt the Vengevine, but I'd rather just counter that. Are they going to hollow one here? Oh. Asthma. Okay, well I can bolt that. I can also Archmage Charm that, so if I draw any land, I'm in a good spot. Nice. Did not draw land. Guess I just bolt now. That nice was sarcastic, by the way. There's cookbook. And nothing from them. Okay. No land for us either, so this is rough. I mean I thought that this could happen. I didn't draw I haven't drawn a land yet. Blazing Root Walla. Okay, it's fine. I can beat a 3-1. I just want to ignore that for now. I don't know if I want to bolt it. I'd rather bolt like another Asmo, you know, or something else better. Goblin War. Draw four, then discard three at random. Okay, it's fine. They discarded double asthma. Wow. They can cookbook to get one back, but that was probably not what they wanted to discard. Complain in the chat? You can't complain in the chat if you're playing Goblin War. I, I guess I'll let them activate, and if they do, I think I'll just bolt now. Because they can't really do anything else this turn. And I do want to keep my life total up. They discard Troll King and then they can bring back Troll King right now. Okay, that's good. I need to get up to four mana now so I can just bounce this with Jace. Okay, there's a land. I can take a I can take a hit off this, no problem. And would I rather Stoneforge Mystic for Batter Skull? Or Sword of Feast and Famine? Or even Cauldra Complete? This has Trample. I think I'd rather just leave up Archmage's Charm. I can draw two if I don't need to counter anything. And then I can just Jace bounce the Troll King. And that buys me a ton of time. And then I can just Stoneforge Mystic a bit later. Yeah, I like this. So they're just like a mono red food deck. Another Street Wraith down to 14. Fourth Asmo, do they have? Burning Inquiry. I unfortunately think I just need to let this resolve. I could draw two cards right now. It's pretty tempting. I guess they're relatively likely to be able to... Oh no, I thought this was a vent. Yeah, they don't have a vent right yet. I think I am going to fetch Hallowed Fountain and just draw two before this happens to give myself the greatest likelihood of having another land next turn. I'm not going to counter it, although I could, but I think I'd rather just draw two. Just, I don't really care about these cards. I guess they could, they could discard my Jace here, but 
Maybe I'll find another answer. Nice. Discarded Stoneforge Mystic Prismatic Ending Archmage Charm. That's fine. What'd they discard? Vengevine Mountain Mountain. And then they play Hollow One. Do they have another creature? They do. I'm in trouble. Please no. Wow, Castle Ember right there. Aggressive. So they hit me down to 10. And bouncing the Troll King to hand isn't great. Then they just get to cookbook it. Discard it. That's all I can do really though. Ragavan. The fact that this has Trample is annoying. Just stick to the plan. They still won't be able to bring this back for a little while. They can discard it, make it food, and then make another food. Then they have to kill this Jace with Hollow One, most likely. I guess they could kill me with Vengevine, but I think this is fine. I could have played Stoneforge Mystic last turn. I could have also Archmage Charm gain control of Cookbook, but... I really wanted to try to make sure I had the greatest likelihood of casting Jace this turn. Lightning Bolt the Jace, and they can attack for four, and they have a random card in hand, but they can't Vengevine yet. Nice, okay. So I'm at six. They can discard that card, discard another card, and then put Troll King into play. I kind of like Teferi Plus though, leave up Counterspell. Oh, but then they just Castle Embereth kill Teferi. I guess I can Teferi minus Tuck Hollow One. And then they're just putting a Troll King into play. And then I have a Teferi City in play. Alright, let's do it. Oh, then I just die to Vengevine here. But they need to have two creatures in order to trigger the Vengevine, so I'm just going to hope they can't. get that out of there and then they can discard a card to cookbook discard another card bring back troll king but they're pretty far from venge vining they're drawing a random card that if they want to troll king they need to discard the uh the card they draw if they want to put troll king into play this turn goblin war they just thought might as well cast it that's all their Asmos down. Create a food by discarding a second Troll King and then bring back Troll King. So I am kind of in trouble. I guess I need to draw a three fairy, another Jace. Not sure if Batter Skull off the top would do it. I have two draws though, because I can plus with the fairy. So I have some outs here. Tarn. They do have lightning bolts in their deck. But do I want to thin? I need to draw something right now. I don't want to be dead to bolt though. I'm just going to plus. Hope I hit. Stoneforge Mystic. I think that does not do it. I think I'm dead. Because I can go Stoneforge Mystic, play Sword of Feast and Famine, and then that's it. That sucks. If I dash this, they just block. Could I have won this game somehow? I guess I should just not concede. Maybe they don't try to attack me. They're just going to, though. No question about it. I get Batter Skull. And I'm, again, I'm just going to die here. Unfortunately, one mana off casting Batter Skull, which would allow me. No, no, it wouldn't allow me to survive through Castle Umberth anyway.
Okay. I could have also drawn a cryptic. Damn, I had a lot of outs. Prismatic ending would not have done it. I think I do want uh, Rest in Peace versus this deck. They have Vengevine, Troll King, and even like Cookbook. Okay, they attack me. I can block three of it, and I take exactly lethal. It just sucks. I feel like this matchup should be good. I don't think their deck is honestly that great. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but... Okay. I think I just want all the Rest in Peace, the Timely... The two paths. Sword of Feast and Famine? Prismari Command might be decent as well. This is a lot of sideboard. Sword of Fire and Ice. They have a lot of red creatures. I just don't know if I want that many equipment. It's a ton of equipment. Spell Pierce and Spell Snare also both might not be bad. Geez, I don't know what to side out here. Prismatic Ending can do stuff. You can just exile their cheap stuff, but they bring back a lot of expensive stuff and they have hollow ones. Yes, it can exile Cookbook, but I think I'm fine at least cutting one of these. I think Teferi can go. I think Jace can go. Yes, it can bounce stuff, but it often is just going to die. Teferi. I think Teferi Time Raveler is probably good enough. Do I just cut Counterspell in this matchup? Because it doesn't stop their Avenge Vines, really. I could just do this, just cut Counterspell. Do I also want to bring in the other Spell Pierce? I think one it one is fine. In Spell Snare, they might only have a... Maybe I just leave in the Prismatic Ending. They might only have a Goblin Lore for Spell Snare. I could just bring in the other Spell Pierce and cut one Prismatic Ending. This also kills Asmo for like no loss, basically. Don't think I want Stony Silence, that seems bad. Can also cut, maybe I should cut both Snapcaster Mages. Oh, this should be over here, right? Cut both Snapcasters. This looks, this looks better to me already. So if I cut all these, I need to play one more card. I could play one Jace, I could play one Subtlety. I could play the Spell Snare, even though it's narrow. I could play one Snap, or I could just play Teferi, or one Jace. Why don't I just play one Jace? All right, it's cheaper. This looks fine. I feel like if I played a little tighter there, I could have won that game as well. Man, this hand is so close. It, I just need one more land. Because I can turn one Ragavan, but that's not even necessarily that good in this matchup. And I can't get a red-white land. I can get red-blue Ragavan. It's just too sketchy. Oh, man. I have the turn one Ragavan. And then if they just go, like, turn one, one, one. I can't Prismatic Ending or anything. It's just too sketchy. Let's just try for a better hand. All right, this is so much better. Thank God I'm Olgan. I could actually just put back a land here. Yeah, this is like infinitely better. I just get to go turn one Ragavan, and I can turn two Rest in Peace or Stoneforge Mystic. I probably want to just turn two Rest in Peace, just get it down so I don't get Vengevined or anything. And yeah, they can hollow one and stuff, but... They can't even cast their Venge Vines, like, normally, because they just have all mountains. Their, their deck, honestly, just doesn't seem good to me. I mean, I still could easily lose this match, but I would not like to play their deck. All right, opponent is in the tank. They keep. We didn't come here to not turn one Ragavan. Let's go Steam Vents. Dock, cast. I can also just turn to Stoneforge Mystic and ignore the rest in peace for now. I guess it just depends what they do.
they don't do anything. All right, well, why don't I just start by attacking before anything else? Let's see if they have a lightning bolt for this. They don't. And I hit a mountain. I want the Stoneforge Mystic, but I feel like it's just so much safer to rest in peace. The thing is, if I just Stoneforge and let's say get Batter Skull, next turn I go attack with Monkey, make a treasure, and then I can still play Rest in Peace and activate Stoneforge the turn after. So, what's the likely? I guess they could go like turn two, Neonate, discard Vengine, play another thing bring back Vengine, and I just don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to play Rest in Peace. I think it's just much safer. You do have to take a lot of damage off your lands with this deck. I have a Bolt Up as well here. Ragavan, just insane. It just snowballs. From his earliest turn one. Yeah, there's the Neonate. But now if, you, if they had another one drop and a Vengevine, they could discard to Vengevine. Wow, so they're just... Yeah, they're just cashing that in for a random card and putting a Root Wall into play. So they've cast two creatures here. What did they exile? A Mountain. And then they Asmo. I see, so they were just trying to turn on Asmo. Okay. Thing is, I can't get in with a Ragavan right now. It's another Stoneforge. Let's just bolt this right now, and then play a Stoneforge Mystic. I think getting Batter Skull. I guess I could get Cauldra Complete here, but then if my Stoneforge dies, it's kind of annoying. I guess it's annoying either way. I have all four equipment in. It's pretty funny. Is Batter Skull just the safest thing even though it's slow? Probably. I guess it doesn't... It's not necessarily good against their hollow ones where Cauldra Complete is. This is pretty... This is a pretty insane equipment. I'm just going to try it for fun. I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> And I'm not going to offer the trade here. I'm feeling pretty safe with this rest in peace though. Like nothing too crazy can happen to me now. Like I can't get hit by multiple. Yeah, they just concede. Nice. Turn one Ragavan, turn two rest in peace. Counter spell is a little slow. Do I want to side out any number of Ragavans on the draw? I don't think so. I guess I could bring in Stony Silence as well, but then it probably only hits Cookbook, which doesn't seem great. I think I do like Spell Pierce. Just getting like a Goblin Lore or a Cookbook or something with it just seems really nice. Let's just run this back. All right, game three here. We keep drawing these one land hands, and this is an easy mole. One land, can't cast Prismatic Ending. Yeah, we can cast Bolt, but that's it. And then we have two equipment in our hand. Ship it. They kept seven. All right, I'm going to keep this. This hand's actually pretty strong. I guess I can just get rid of one of these fetches to take less damage. This looks good. Cookbook. Okay, I might just exile that right now. That way they can't, like, use it to Asmo. I think I like that. Just Prismatic ending the cookbook. Yeah, they can discard one card to it. But I like it. I don't want them sitting there with a cookbook. Just free discard outlet. Prismatic ending such a strong card. Then turn two, I can bolt. Turn three, I can Archmage's Charm. See if they activate here. I, I assume they will. They can discard either their Root Walla, they can just discard a Vengevine, make a food. They discard a Troll King, make a food. Okay, well, they still need to make two more food to turn that on. 
So they're pretty far from that. And let's see, maybe I can draw a rest in peace at some point. Goblin Lord, discard Root Walla. So they hit. Root Walla is good. I can bolt that if I want. And there's a hollow one. That's good. Prismatic ending. I guess, oh, they even have Lightning Axe as well. I'm just going to pass with Bolt up and just Bolt the Root Walla when they pump it. And just take four off the hollow one for now. There's nothing else I can do. There's a cookbook. Okay, well, I can ending that or Archmage's Charm that. I can't let them get to three food because of Troll King. I assume they're going to try to attack for seven here. They're going to pump, right? They're not going to pump. Should I just take one off it then? I think that's fine. Then maybe I bolt something else. Discard another Troll King, make a food. And then play an Asmo, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to bolt Asmo now. Alternatively, I mean, I probably need to just... Oh, they're going to get another cookbook. Damn. I'm in trouble. So there's nothing I can do. I can't counter this. All right, I'm in trouble. I'm, I might just be dead. I don't know if I can, I don't think I can stop Troll King from coming back. They just have so many cookbooks. So I have to bolt something and I'm probably just bolting Asmo. Just not sure what I'm gonna do against, uh, against their extra cookbook that they have here. Cause they're gonna be able to make another food. Stoneforge Mystic. That's something I can do. I can just try to not fight on the cookbook access anymore and just play a Stoneforge Mystic this turn, take some damage. They're going to put a Troll King into play. And then I could put a Cauldra Complete into play. I don't even know if that's good enough either. If I take a cookbook, they just play another cookbook, discard a card, bring back Troll King, and then I'm in a bad spot. So that doesn't work. If I Prismatic Ending the cookbook, I can't cast Stoneforge. Yep, just have to cast it. I guess I could... I was thinking I guess I could get Sword of Feast and Famine. I don't think that does it, though. Trick to use the ability, yes. So this makes a 5-5 five, five indestructible first strike trample haste. And whenever it deals damage to a creature, exile that creature. Okay, I think I just need to get Cauldra complete. Okay. Because that can that can deal with Troll King. Maybe that's what I should should have done the first game as well. I forgot about this last clause on Cauldra Complete. Because the trample doesn't matter if I just exile the creature, and this has first strike. This is an insane card. It's indestructible and the creature is indestructible? Jeez. So if they have lightning bolt, I'm gonna I lose because they just bolt Stoneforge and I have like nothing nothing left, and then they just troll king me. I also do have path in my deck. I won't be able to cast ending or archmage's charm next turn because I'm probably gonna have to put in complete, but I guess I'm taking 7 down to 5. Still might be dead. Because if they just attack with both... I'm in trouble because then I'm going to 5 and then I die to both their attackers next turn. Damn. I think I'm... I think I'm still might be dead. Yep. Activate. Maybe they don't bring back Troll King somehow. But I think they will. There's Cookbook. 
then discard a card, and then bring back Troll King. And it's a Vendrine. I don't know if that matters too much. Probably can't activate it for a while. Okay. Another Stone Forge. I just, I'm just dead on board. I put in Cauldron Complete, and then I block this, and then I take Lethal. Ah, it sucks. I can ending exile root walla, but that's not enough. I can put in cauldron complete attack, hope they think they can block with this, but they're just they're just not gonna do that. So just attack. Oh no, it doesn't have vigilance. Alright, well maybe they don't know if they can attack or not or something. It's good to not concede. If they attack with everything, I'm dead. But if not, then I'm not dead. So hope they don't. I thought I was going to win this for sure. I still stand by it. It's like kind of like if you've watched my Popper content, Mono White Heroic and Popper is just not a good deck. But I mean, I lose to it sometimes. Okay. GG's. Never feels good to lose to decks like that. Uh, so close, so close. I have two Cryptics. Maybe I should have three. It seems like Cryptic is like, I, I always want to draw Cryptic. So yeah, maybe the Five Fairy should just be a third Cryptic or something. And I mean, Force of Negation might go a long way too. So I can try that next time. I'll see you in round three. Oh, got defeated by Mono Red. Asmo. Let's keep this hand. Same looks fine. It's gonna take a lot of damage from our lands, but that seems to be kind of this deck's MO. Is this blue eye control or is this a mirror? Okay. Stoneforge was a fine draw. It really doesn't matter which land I use because all of my lands are islands. Turn two, I can Stoneforge or leave up Counterspell. I'm gonna bolt my rag. Monkey down. Monkey is down. This could be the mirror. Feels like it likely is. I'm gonna just jam here. Against Mikey Planeswalker. Let's go Hallowed Fountain. Yes. Especially with double stone forge. I'm just down to jam. I might even get Cauldre Complete here. I mean, I'm far off casting Batterskull anyway, and Complete seems really strong. Like, they have to kill Stoneforge, and then I have another Stoneforge I can get Batterskull with. Seems good. Fire Ice? I don't know. Thought Scour target me? And then Bolt? Why didn't they target themselves with Thought Scour? This might just be some blue red um, Murktide deck. Yeah, multiple basic islands. Okay. Spire Bluff. Now I'm just going to pass the turn. Because I can Archmage Charm end of their turn, draw two. They're, oh, they're going to snap. They're going to snap Bolt me. I guess they're going to snap Thought Scour. Hmm. I think when they Thought Scour, I, I'm just supposed to Lightning Bolt the Snapcaster Mage. I wanted to still have Counterspell up. They're just thought scouring me over and over. I don't really understand why, but I mean, sure. Just don't want to be taking two off that snap. Maybe they're just trying to hit my other equipment or something. They don't want to mill themselves for some reason. I, I don't know. Another Archmage's Charm, sure. Just passing now. Are they going to Archmage Charm end of turn? They have only four cards left. Ice. Tap this. And that's really annoying. Just going to let it resolve and keep Counterspell up. Just play slow. I don't want them to just like tap out for a Jace or something. 
wouldn't be surprised if they have Blood Moon as well. I was going to say land one time, but I guess not. They only have four cards here, but they're getting to the point. Archmage Charm, they draw two. Don't love this. They have three cards left. I am worried about them tapping out for a Jace or something, but I'm going to just use Archmage Charm to counter this because the reason I'm doing this is because if I draw land, eventually I can play Stoneforge Mystic with Counterspell up. Remand. Okay. So this might just be through the breach. I feel like it is, and I feel like I'm about to lose now. Yeah. Oh, Blood Moon. Okay, I'm also probably dead to that. I don't have any way to play these Stone Forges or bounce this really. Can't cast a lot of cards in my hand. I only have basic islands. I wonder if I should just be playing one mountain, one plains. Might be worth it even with all the blue spells. Maybe not because of Archmage's Charm. I don't know if I should even keep playing here, but if I draw Island, does it do anything? No. Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm dead to Blood Moon here. There's no way for me to prismatic ending it. I'm pretty sure they're through the breach. I also just want to see what they are before I concede. They draw two car or no. And then there's Jace. Okay, that's enough. I can't do anything. Okay, so they might they might be through the breach, they might not. I want sort of fire nice. I feel like I don't want too much from the sideboard. I think Narset seems good. I think sort of fire nice is better than feast advantage being throw their deck. Definitely want Ragavan on the play. Spell Snare seems good. Spell Pierce is obviously good. I could cut like two Lightning Bolts. Just don't want too much of that effect. I know I can hit a Planeswalker or their Snapcaster Mage, but yeah, I don't want too much of that effect. Also, Prismatic Ending is a little bit clunky. Maybe Bolt. Maybe Prismatic Ending is just not good in this matchup. They don't really have permanents for me to target and just keep Bolt. Because I can at least bolt Planeswalkers or face. Alright. This looks fine. Alright. Turn one Ragavan. Turn two Narset. Let's go. Their deck should have a lot of removal for our Ragavan, but still eating a removal spell or making them have one is good. It looks like they don't. I should probably just jam a Narset. They'd have to have Force of Negation or um, Spell Pierce here. A Lightning Bolt. I don't think I need to Bolt them. Although I could and just leave up Counterspell, or I can just jam Narset. Seems like so good to jam Narset. On turn two, before they can like, really have their shields up. I guess I could have gotten Basic Island as well. Again, they need Spell Pierce or Force of Negation here. I actually have it. Oh, Thoughts Cower me. It's interesting that they're just targeting me. They don't want to target themselves. Maybe I just leave Narset at 5 as well. I mean, they're blue-red, so they have trouble dealing with this. They said that was my Bolt. Yeah, they needed, they, they needed Bolt to deal with this. I mean, I'm not even minusing it on purpose. Now I just have Ragavan plus counter spells. Seems great. And then that's a Scalding Tarn that they may have also needed. All right, just not going to use Narset. I got the bolt that they needed. It's just so weird that they thought scoured me. Do they have anything that 
counts like the cards in my graveyard or something? I, I don't know. I'm just going to untap here. Snapcaster Mage, that's good. I can snap bolt. They're bolting that. All right, let's just counterspell this because then I can still have counterspell up. Counterspell that. And then if they counter back, I'm going to counter back too. Oh, Flusterstorm. Okay, so Flusterstorm resolves. No. And both of these fizzle. And I think I'm just going to counterspell this and keep my Ragavan going. Especially if they said, fuck, that was my bolt. That means they don't have another bolt for Ragavan, so... I guess they could Snapcaster bolt it, but that's fine if they do. Wow, should I cast this opt off a of treasure? I think so. I'll cast their opt. It's bottom of Snap. Want more lands. And still just leave Narset at 5. They can't really draw cards here with Narset in play. You shouldn't say stuff like that in the chat because it just makes it like maybe they're trying to level me and they have extra bolts or something, but otherwise I just don't think it's that good to say stuff like that. I still have Archmage Charm Counterspell for Counterspell up. I have Snap Bolt up. I'm just getting a bunch of treasures here. Counterspell. That'd be so sick if they try to, now if they want to play a spell end of turn, I get to just counter it. I'm just going to keep sitting here. They're down to eight. I can snap bolt if I want. And I have another Ragavan I could start dashing in. Cryptic Bounce Draw. I'm going to use your counter spell to counter this. <laughs> that was <laughs> insane. <laughs> that was sick. See, the Narset is definitely causing them problems. Now if they kill Monkey, I just have another one, so I don't really care. This is this Monkey has just been insane here. It's just attack. I also have Snap Counterspell. Rao, is it Viceroy? I don't think there's any reason for me to cast that. I think they're really close to dead at this point. Dot Scour me, that resolves. Maybe there's no, maybe they don't have Murktides in their deck. Or if the game goes long, they just want to be able to mill me. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Should I go for Snap Bolt? So if I Snap Bolt, I still have Archmage Charm up. All right, let's do it. Snapcaster. And if they kill Ragavan, oh, they counterspell this. All right, let's... Get Island and Archmage Charm this. I think it's worth. Can't hurt spell. I don't like that art on counter spell. I like this one. And there's one other one I like. The old guy with the hands, with the stuff coming out of the fingers. They remand the Archmage Charm. Okay, sure. They, they're prevented from drawing a card from Narset. Jeez, that's insane. Um, so I can go Stoneforge. No reason to. It's just attack. <laughs> they said just tick down Narset, lol. I'm saying no way. <laughs> Such a good enchantment. Oops. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to bolt it over the monkey. I'm just not going to take down Darset. I just don't need to. There's an opt. I'll cast your opt. And they concede. <laughs> I mean, I could have ticked down Narset, but I, I just felt like I really didn't need to. I think this matchup shouldn't be bad just because we have really potent cheap threats and then we have so much counter magic. We have 3, 7, 11, 
13 counter spells, plus four bolt, plus two snapcaster mage, and then we even have Teferi in the matchup. We have Jace, we have Narset, we have like every card except for bolt just seems like really strong in this matchup. I could have subtlety in the deck as well, just to cast end of their turn, but I don't think I need that. They don't really have many creatures. All right, this hand looks fantastic. A lot of lands, just gonna mull. I think I'm supposed to keep this and try to draw lands. Let's keep, put back a sword, and then just... They said, uh-oh, no turn one monkey on play. Because I've had that both, both times so far, I mean, sure. I don't have a turn one monkey, but it's also good later. Can be dashed in, no problem. Opponent's having fun. Hope you got monkey before it was a hundred ticks. I have card hoard. I have a rental account. I don't know if they know card hoarder. They say big brain. <laughs> They're just like thousand IQ play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, rental accounts are honestly pretty sweet. You don't need to worry about like getting cards before they spike or they go down in value. You can just play whatever you want based on your rental account. So it's honestly pretty awesome. I'm just gonna get my triome here. I know they could blood moon me, but I'll maybe get basics with these. Spire Bluff Canal. I do want to play a fetch because I want to at least start getting basics. Or should I just play Spire Bluff now? I think I can play Spire Bluff next turn, at least get one basic. If I can, yeah. I could also not get basics and then just ignore a Blood Moon from them, but I, I don't like that. I like getting basics, I think. It's just not even fetch. I'm going to just ignore this Spire Bluff and just play these so I can get two basics. I think that's good enough. I think it's worth. If they end of turn Archmage's Charm, they don't. I'm going to end of turn end of their turn Archmage's Charm, I think. We still don't know if they're through the breach, but I feel like they're not. All right, I think I'm going to get basic basic here. Because then I can play around a Blood Moon. I could potentially let it resolve, especially if I draw another basic naturally. So I'm just going to draw two cards. They'll probably counter this, but that's fine. I know I played weird with the Spire Bluff, but I wanted to make sure to get these basics. Mystical Dispute, okay. Snapcaster Mage. All right, let's just play Spire Bluff Pass. No reason to do anything. They get a basic. Are they going to Archmage's Charm? No. That's kind of weird. I guess they just wanted to thin by one. Sure. Could bolt them, but I don't want to do that yet. Land would have been a great draw there. Now I might bolt them end of turn and then try to snap bolt them. It's not going to work, but... It just puts a lot of pressure on them, and I'm tight on mana, so I don't hate it. They're keeping just one fetch land in play, and they have a bunch of basics. All right, let's go for this now, so I can just use my mana. I'm not scared of them playing like an Archmage Charm or something. I am going to try to Snap Bolt them. They're, they're down to 12 already, so this is kind of a nice aggressive play. They're letting this resolve? Nice. Going aggro on them, maybe draw some monkeys and dash them in. They'll probably just bolt this Snapcaster Mage here. Abrade it. Okay, it's fine. It's an abrade that they aren't using on my equipment. It's nice. Narset. Okay, I think I'm going to tap out for Jace, and then when I get one more mana, I can Narset with Counterspell back up. This will probably just get countered. But 
they're down to four cards. They're at nine. I'm down to just slam this. And let's plus target myself because they have a fetch land to play around Bolt. Monkey? I'll put it on top. Put it on the bottom? No. Monkey seems great. It's not a land, but yeah, it seems solid. Yep. They can double bolt the Jace, but then my monkey is likely to survive. They're down to six. Snap bolt. I guess they can bolt me. And then they can attack the Jace. Sure, they have two cards left. And I have good cards in hand still. I think they're kind of in trouble here. Depends what they have. If they have like a Planeswalker here. Okay, Blood Moon. I can beat Blood Moon because I got two basics. They have one card left and I don't think they have any counter spells. Why don't I just go... Lightning Bolt this, play Ragavan, have counter spell up. No monk, no uh, monkey turn one, no problem. I'm just gonna cast this rather than dashing it. They only have one card left. Opponent gonna salt off in the chat. Monkey is good at any point in the game. There's a braid down to zero cards. Just counter that. If I draw a land, I can just go sort of fire and ice equip, and then that should do it. They draw land. Can complain in the chat. Must be nice. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I draw one spell, lol. It's, it is nice, yeah. Monkey's still good. Nice. What were we going to draw? Teferi? Teferi can... Oh, I couldn't play it, so that was a dead, dead draw. But I could have played Narset. Or I could have actually hit with Ragavan, make a treasure, which is really good against Blood Moon as well. This is, yeah, just a little too strong, I think. All right, see you in round four. Always love to see the salt from the opponent. Two and one, we're in round four here. We're on the play. Turn one Ragavan, yes. This hand is fantastic. I think people who like play three Ragavan, I don't think you want to do that because it's actually good in multiples because if they kill the first one then you have another one and it it can be dashed in it's just like kind of like that kind of like an aspect of if you have it in play in a lot of situations you're pretty far ahead so it's just really good okay they're lightning bolting the monkey so i can choose to dash it or i can just play it i kind of want to dash it Because then I get at least a hit and make a treasure. And I don't care about really casting it again later. But then I guess I have to keep dashing it. It's just likely not going to get a hit in otherwise. I think I'm down to dash it here. I'll be able to play it later at some point. I could just get a basic. The dash is just so good. Like, did it really need to exile a card from their library that you play? Even just making a treasure is, like, so good. Oh, let's go. So it's, we're just up against is it prowess here, but kind of doing work already. Prismatic Ending is a great card in this matchup as well, because so many of their threats cost one mana, especially now they play Swiss Spear. Um, what's the other one? The other one mana, one, two, prowess, and Murktide Regent. No, well, yeah, they play Murktide Regent, but also, uh, God, I've played this deck so much. I just am so bad with names of cards. Uh the other one two and then the one mana one one that turns into a three three flying okay i think i'm just gonna shock in drake to pay two life yes that's just ending this prowess sweet and i might as well just dash in ragavan again I don't really have anything else I want to do, and they have to play a removal spell on this now. Wow, I'm just hitting. Just connecting with Ragavan. Another one drop, please. Manamorphose. So close. 
Then Ragavan back to hand. They can't even kill it with the sorcery. They're down to 13. I'm at 15 from taking damage from my lands. And a hit from their Swiss Spear. Teferi is also pretty good, and so is Snap Prismatic Ending. Murktide Regent is a problem, but I could Teferi bounce that. Expressive Iteration, sure. So they put a card in hand, they exile a card. This card's really strong right now, especially when you can, like, if you have Bobble in your deck, this card just gets so good because you can exile the Bobble, play it for free, and then you, like, get so much value that way. Especially if you have Prowess creatures in play. That deck is, is pretty insane that we're up against. Is it Prowess is really strong. We just had such a good hit on that Ragavan. Yeah, there's Tr Channeler, so they go land Channeler. It's just a 1 1 right now. And I can snap Prismatic Ending it. So I can snap Ending and dash Ragavan again. I, I, I mean, I like it. Spell Pierce. Okay, now I'm going to leave up Spell Pierce. So I'm going to go land, get a basic. Don't want to take more damage than I already am. Let's go Snapcaster Mage. I'm going to actually, yeah, just play the Ragavan this turn. I don't know if I said that. Prismatic ending, and then get this out of there. I don't even want them to surveil once. Just cast it for one white, prowess, then attack, and then play Ragavan, and then leave up Spell Pierce. I guess I could have dashed Ragavan and left up Spell Pierce, but I think I'm fine to play it at this point. So I don't have to keep tapping mana for it. Because now if they like spend a turn killing Ragavan, then it's okay. I still have two more creatures in play and a Teferi in hand. Hopefully they just go for iteration right now or something. I just spell pierce it. No, they play land. Are they going to just crack draw? That would be obviously good for me. I might want to side out Ragavan, especially on the draw, because they're a Lava Dart deck. So I might just want to side out Ragavan entirely, just so I don't get valued by Lava Dart. Yeah, the Soul Scar Mage. I can't believe I couldn't remember that. It's sad. They have four cards in hand still. They're at 11. Prismatic Ending just seems so much better than Path, especially in this meta right now where so many of the threats people play cost one mana. And, like, Ending also deals with stuff like Cookbook, you know, and just random artifacts that Urza Saga gets, all that stuff. Can kill Karn Shrugs, everything. So they do have Lava Dart. Okay. I get to kill two of my creatures with that. Not ideal. I'm gonna kill my Ragavan as well. So they're playing a Stormwind entity. Okay. They still have Dart as well in the yard. They're not darting the Ragavan right now. Now I can spell pierce the Dart. I guess they want to trigger Prowess on their turn. Sure. Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt's actually a great draw. I can't bolt the Stormwing, but I can play Teferi, and then they're forced to bolt right. They're forced to dart right now. Oh, Teferi is just so good because Teferi on the stack, they have to lava dart the Ragavan, and then I just get to spell pierce that. And if they don't, then I have Teferi in play. I get to bolt this, and then bounce the Soul Scar Mage. And they can't play Lava Dart right now. I think that might have been a misplay from them. Bounce this, and then I get to hit with Ragavan. Archmage's Charm. Attack for five. Hit. I have two treasures. Lava Dart. 
I don't really want to put a lava dart in their graveyard. They just concede. Okay, nice. What they should have done is with Teferi on the stack, they should have cast a lava dart targeting Ragavan, but then I would have, in response to the prowess trigger, then I would have still bolted the Stormly entity. But Teferi just is so good. They could have also just lava darted Ragavan on their turn, which might have been best. All right, timely, couple paths. Don't like rest in peace. Sword of Fire and Ice. Sword of Feast and Famine comes out. Spell Snare. I don't think they have many two drops. They have Mana Morphos, but other than that, they just don't really play two drops, at least as far as I know. Okay, let's put these cards here that I'm taking out, actually. I need to cut two more cards. And I could also play Subtlety and or Narset. Oh, Spell Pierce is also probably pretty good. Snapcaster Mage, Archmage Strong, Cryptic, Jay's Teferi. All these cards are a little bit clunky. I feel like Teferi is pretty clunky against them. Would I rather just have Subtlety? I mean, Subtlety doesn't match up that great against their big flyers. I think Jace is still reasonable. It's just kind of hard to tap out for in this matchup, and they can pressure it in a lot of different ways. I wonder if I just want Subtlety to slow them down. Oh, I'm supposed to... I, I said I was taking out... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... I, I forgot about my plan. I forgot about my plan. So I'm gonna just take out Raghavan entirely and just be like a Stoneforge Mystic Control deck. I like this better because they're gonna keep in Dart because they don't know if I'm taking out uh, Raghavan or not. This is just such a better plan, yeah. And then I can just do this, or or even bring in Narset. Maybe just Narset's a problem for them. All right, let's try it like this. They have like expressive iteration, which gets around Narset, but they still do like have cards like Manamorphose and things that they want to play on their turn and just again playing Narset and never minusing it is pretty strong um and now we have four bolt three ending two path two spell pierce four counter two snap we have a lot of cheap interaction and then we just have planeswalkers and stoneforge mystic oh man no fetch land but we have 10 fetches plus how many white sources like three white sources so we have 13 white sources so let's calculate our odds of drawing a white source we have 13 white sources out of 53 and we're on the draw so each draw step we have about a 25 percent chance to draw a white source that's pretty low honestly but if i draw a white source in like the first two turns i'm fine then this hand becomes very good I think I'll try it. I'm on the draw. Narset is good. I just need to draw a white source in the first two draw steps, and I, I'm about 50%, maybe a little higher to do so. And if I draw a white source right here, it's so good. Okay, no. Well, if I don't draw a white source ever, I'm probably just dead. But ending is so good in this matchup. Stoneforge is good. Narset is good. Just died of my mana. Maybe I should have just mulliganed. Because if they just go like Monastery, Swiss Beer, play another spell, I'm in trouble. I'm probably a little overly high on Ragavan, but it has just been really strong. I don't think it necessarily needs to be banned. Because cards like that typically don't get banned. It's not like doing any broken combo or anything. It's just a one drop that so many people are going to play for such a long amount of time. And it goes in a lot of different decks. Like can go in Jund, can go in these blue decks, can go in mono red decks. So all these different decks are going to play it. But it's not exactly like comboing and doing anything too crazy. It's just like so strong on its own. Right, there's Channeler. 
Yeah, I probably should have just mulligan. I'm just going to be dead here. I don't even have engineered explosives in my build at all. Snapcaster mage. Okay, I'm in trouble. Should have just mulligan. Just add too low of a probability of getting there. And if I miss, I can't do anything till turn three. That's just not acceptable in this matchup. Yeah. That was just a bad keep. I could easily, like, even, I could potentially even be dead this turn if they just go, like, land, Manamorphose, Manamorphose, Bolt, Bolt, Dart, or something. That's so much damage. And they're surveilling every spell. Yeah, now they're going to go, like, Iteration, put a card into their hand, play a land, play a bobble, and just, like, activate this, prowess these. I am just super dead here. Hopefully they don't delirium and I can just snap caster mage, trade for the channeler, draw a white source, prismatic ending, the soul scar mage, you know, do do that, but yeah, not looking good here. Fiery eyelet, play it. Play another one mana spell or no? Okay, well, I'm gonna try to snap caster block this. 100% because I can't do anything else. And I have to draw a white source. They probably even have removal for this Snapcaster Mage, most likely. No? They only have two card types. Okay. Well, this is... We can still win if we draw a white source here. Bolt. Alright. Sometimes they play two copies of Mutagenic, but I'd rather still go for it now. All right. Please, White Source next turn. And a lot of my White Sources I have to take three damage off of. And one of them is a tapped White Source in the Triome, so I really only have 12. But if I draw, like, a Hallowed Fountain, I go Shock It In, Exile Your Swiss Sphere, play Narset. Which is pretty strong. Just a little, I'm just like far behind because my draw has been so clunky. I'm just surprised I'm in this game as much as I am. Okay, now I'm not as much. Stormwing Entity is pretty strong. They don't really play Sprite Dragon anymore, which makes sense. I go to 12. They have three cards in hand. Damn. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets, like, spell pierced. No, it doesn't. Another white card. I mean, it's been un unlucky at this point to never hit a white source, but now I think it's too late. Four white cards in hand and just died to the mana. You really need the fetch lands in hand with this deck. Are they just going to lightning bolt the Narset right now? They probably should just wait till their turn because then they get two extra damage. And they play around Spell Pierce and stuff. Iteration, Prowess, Prowess. Iteration is just so good. It's a pretty cool design. It's just really, really strong. Definitely playable Legacy, Modern, all that. Channeler, they play it. Should definitely have had one or two Engineered Explosives in the sideboard. It's just really strong in Modern right now. Again, so many one and zero cost things being played. So they can cast Channeler. 
They play wooded foothills that crack. Steam vents. I could even potentially just be dead here, but unlikely. But yeah, I really do think it's too late at this point. Because imagine with this game how different it would have been if I had drawn a white source on the first draw step and I just go prismatic ending your soul scar mage and then just start playing white cards play a stoneforge mystic turn two they have to kill it and then I prismatic ending one of their things it's just like such a different game at that point but I missed so I kept this hand based on the strength of it assuming I draw a white card but I, it still should have been a mulligan 100% Attacking me with both. Is this just lethal? Lightning bolt me. So I go to nine and then I take eight, go to one. I don't think I have any outs and they probably have another spell. Right. Unholy heat. Oh wait. Oh yeah, they're unholy heating the Narset. Okay. Oh, I do have to watch out for that card, so maybe not minusing Narset is not as good as it used to be as well. Alright, I'm on the play. I still don't think I want Ragavan, just because of Dart. It might just make me a little bit too slow. Maybe I'm supposed to have these subtleties, just to be a little bit faster. Maybe I should have had them last, last game. Just take out some of my slower stuff. All right, let's do it. Looks good. I still don't think I want Spell Snare. I like trimming Teferi and Jace. I like cutting the Sword of Feast and Famine. Sword of Fire and Ice is obviously where we want to be in this matchup. And I think it is good to have this in the sideboard. I think it's worth. All right, let's go game three. All right, would you like to play first? Yes. Uh, just no early plays on the play but I just can't keep that wow getting wrecked here let's go to five all right let's keep this cryptic cauldron complete going away and then let's just most likely get triome I need need to get triome to have good mana and I can just play a stoneforge mystic hopefully they don't have a lightning bolt Channeler, Bobble, Surveil. Channeler, the Surveil is so good, I'm telling you. A lot of times it's better than Prowess. Like, you just get to fix your draws with your one drop that becomes a 3 3 flying really fast. Like, it's almost. It can be a 3 3 flying next turn here. I need to get Triome. I need to have red and white mana here. And triple blue. Mana's pretty bad in this deck, honestly. They're looking at my top card. So they know it's a Stoneforge Mystic. I feel like I should just start parading these out instead of bolting this. Because they're going to have to Lightning Bolt my Stoneforge. I think I just get Batter Skull. And yeah, again, I can play another one. And they know about that Stoneforge Mystic from the Bobble. So they don't know about this one. Or they don't know that I have two. Doesn't matter. I don't, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Channeler in play. Two card types in the yard. Instant artifact in their yard. So they can easily go like fetch land. Play a sorcery. Or even just like play any spell. Surveil. And turn that on. But if they do, it's not that bad. As long as they're not killing my Stoneforge. And if they kill my Stoneforge, yeah, they're surveilling. This is why I wanted to kill it, but I just felt like I really wanted to play Stoneforge here. If I draw a land, it's so good. I get to go land, play another Stoneforge, bolt this, or just like put in a batter skull, skull bolt, bolt this. No lightning bolt. They have it. Okay. Well, again, we have another one. 
they're going to need another lightning bolt. Now I really need to draw a land so I can go Stoneforge plus Lightning Bolt or just Archmage Charm their Channeler. So they're, they left another card on top, so they don't have Delirium. We have Creature Land and our Graveyard. Wait, what? Why did they not attack? Is that just a mistake? Okay, nice. Land is so good. I mean, I could just take control of their channeler right now. But I think I like playing another Stoneforge killing their channeler. I'm going to get a Cauldra Complete here, I think. Use the ability, yes. I could get Sword of Fire and Ice, but I don't think it does that much. I'd rather do this. Do this. I'd much rather kill the channeler than kill the Swiss Sphere. And next turn I can just put in a Batter Skull or a Cauldra Complete. Either one is going to be really strong. I, I guess worst case is them playing a um, Storming Entity this turn, which they could easily do. They're going to double dart my Stone Forge. It's not great, but can always just steal this. No Stormwing Entity one time, please. Don't do it. Don't do it, opponent. I almost assuredly am going to just gain control of this. Uh, that was really bad for me there. Not 12. They have two cards left. And I think I need to just take control of this. Drawing cards with this just seems way too risky. Okay, land is actually good because then I can potentially batter spell next turn. I'm just going to gain control of this now even though it's tapped because I don't want them to untap with a spell pierce or something. And then I'll just fetch a steam vents end of their turn most likely or just not even fetch. They're only on two mana, but they do have a Storming Entity, which hits really hard. I'm so far away from casting this Cauldre Complete, I wonder if I should have gotten just Sword of Fire and Ice. Probably should have. But I felt like if my Stoneforge survived, there was a chance, especially if they didn't Stormwing Entity, there was a chance I wanted to just put in Cauldre Complete and start attacking. Because it's so much faster than Batter Skull. What really killed us here is just the Mulligan to 5. I think this deck is solid. I, I might... I guess you can't really rework the mana too much. Oh god. And they're going to like Lightning Bolt my Swiss Sphere here or something. I don't know, they play a Channeler, but it's a 3-3. Three, three. That is gross. All right, so I need to draw a land. I go to seven. Land. Path, okay. So they still have this three, three flying. They only have one card left. I think I need to path on their upkeep. I know they could potentially counter this, but it's unlikely they will. I could path later, but I think I'd rather just path on upkeep. It's a little bit safer. They only have one card in hand here, but I guess they don't have a land in hand. I get a prowess trigger on their turn, and their land comes in tapped. They have a flyer, though. So any burn spell, I die next turn to channeler. So even if I draw a land now, I can't fetch into Batter Skull because of Channeler is going to hit me twice. So I need to draw a Prismatic Ending, another Path, a Bolt, just a removal spell for Channeler now. Do they just not have anything in hand? What do they have? Oh, I think that's game. I guess I cast this.
I guess I could draw a removal spell next turn, but I probably have to chump with Swiss Spear on their Swiss Spear, and any burn spell I just die. So my draws are just a little bit too awkward here. Didn't draw enough removal. I don't think keeping that original seven in game three, where it was three lands, Narset, Narset, Teferi, Sword, it's just not good. It's just like no play till turn three. I also misplayed by not keeping that. Uh, I misplayed by uh, keeping that hand with no white source. I think I should have just mulliganed. They put a tarn into their graveyard. I can't pay. And any burn spell kills me. And I, any spell, I have to just chump here. Alright. I'm just going to concede. I, I'm just dead. GG's. I misplayed when I decided to keep that hand in game two. I think if I had just mulliganed it, I knew that was my shot to win the match. And that was a pretty big misplay, I think, ultimately costing me the match. But at the same time, I had a 25% or like a 24, 23 to draw an untapped white source every turn. And if I had just hit on the first turn, I win that game, I think. So it's, it's close. Obviously, a 25% chance is probably lower than I would want. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm calling it a misplay, but ultimately it could have worked. It could have worked out for me. I think just the odds were not in my favor. So let's go round five and try to at least go positive in this league. All right. Two and two now after some questionable decisions, all league by me, we have a turn one Ragavan, turn two Stoneforge after taking a bunch of damage from our lands, city of brass. Okay. We're against a combo deck. Oh, okay, we're against dredge. Okay. Dredge with city of brass. Still just going to lead Ragavan. And then play a Stoneforge. And just hope that's good enough. I have a Cryptic to tap their team. I'm hoping they don't put creatures into play on turn two, but they're kind of favored to be able to do so. Would you like to play, pay two life? Yes. If only we were on the play. If only. I do have a bolt to be able to force through this Ragavan. There's a loam they can dredge. Okay, so they dredge loam, I assume. Should pop this out. They don't dredge loam. They're just gonna like cathartic or um, play the other red white one. Yeah. Thrilling discovery. Discard a better dredger. They sh I'm surprised they still didn't want to dredge loam. Narc Amoeba, and then Dredge, I hit Creeping Chill, I hit a Prized Amalgam, and a Narc Amoeba. Ah. So they're going to get two Prized Amalgams, a Narc Amoeba, and a Creeping Chill. Okay, well we have triple Rest in Peace. And their Amalgams come back tapped. There's another lightning bolt. I'm at 11 because, oh, did they double creeping chill me? Yeah. All right, well, can't win game one against Dredge. And rest in peace would have been too slow on the draw here as well. It's kind of what that deck does, right? So I can bolt an amalgam, but then they just Dredge again, probably hit another Narcomoeba and get it back. How do I win? I can bolt Narc Amoeba, get a tre hit with Ragavan, get a treasure, play a Stoneforge Mystic, take six damage, go to essentially four. I mean, I don't think they have, yeah, they have Conflagrate in hand. I think I'm just dead turn three to this. I guess I'm just going to attack and see if they block. And if they trade, they trade. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, they're obviously going to trade. I guess I just need to Stoneforge Mystic and hope I survive, but I think I'm dead on board because they have Conflagrate, but I'm just going to hope they don't Conflagrate me. 
I'm going to not F6 and then try, try to uh, pretend I have Force of Negation. But obviously it's not a good play. Just a turn 3 win from them. Even though I went turn 1 Ragavan, turn 2 Stone Horde Mystic, they're still going to win on this turn, I think. I mean, I guess they're on the play, but still crazy. That was a good draw from Dredge. Nothing I can do. They can also just play Ox this turn if they want. Oh, so I'm going to two, and then they probably just go for Conflagrate. Even if I batter Skull next turn, it's just not anywhere near good enough. I took a lot of damage from my lands. They're just going to go for it, I think. Why would they not? And putting in Batter Skull again is not going to be enough. I could have Lightning Bolted, but even if I went Force of Negation there, and then I put in Batter Skull, then it might have might have actually been okay if I had Force of Negation, but we're not running it. Okay. Triple Rest in Peace, come in. Spell Pierce comes in. Don't think subtlety comes in. I don't think Narset comes in. Path I don't actually think is that great. Prismatic ending is is fine. Archmage's charm is kind of slow, but it's okay. I mean, I really just need to rest in peace them. I guess timely reinforcements is good. It can buy me some time. Yeah, lightning bolts really not that great. It is a cheap spell I can play, though. Prismatic Ending? Do I even want that? Prismatic Ending doesn't seem that great as well. I mean, these individual removal spells aren't that great against that deck. Don't think I want Prismari Command either. Don't think I want Sword of Fire and Ice. You really want Sword of Feast and Famine, I think. Because untapping your lands and putting Sword of Feast and Famine on a Batter Skull is just a good way to win this matchup, I think. I think these removal spells just aren't good. Do I also want the Sword of Fire and Ice over anything else? Like a Teferi? This does seem pretty bad. Maybe this is just better. Alright. Let's go. Just basically looking for Rest in Peace. Would you like to play first? Yes. Mulligan this one land hand. Alright, I'm keeping this. It's not very good. Just putting back a Batter Skull. We have a turn one Ragavan. Maybe I should have kept the Batter Skull and just plan on hitting with Ragavan to make treasures and then cast the Batter Skull off that. But I don't really think that's that realistic. Shriekhorn, sure. They can activate Tree Corn if they hit Nargamiba in the top two. It's really bad for me. I do have Counterspell up for their like cathartic reunion type effect. I just need to find Rest in Peace. Don't do it. Okay, nice. They didn't hit anything on that one. Exile of Blood Crypt. Okay. Pass the turn here. I mean, I might be able to get this sword down at some point too. They upkeep tree corn themselves. They do hit a stinkweed that they can dredge. Uh, now they narc amoeba. They have a blood ghast. I think I'm just probably dead now. Didn't have the rest in peace. Another tree corn. I'm kind of down just to counter this. So I'm going to. Get a Hallowed Fountain and just counter this. Unfortunately, I can't, I don't want to trade this. Blood Gas can't block. Interesting that they bring it back right now. I think they would wait till they fetch, but maybe they want to save the fetch. Okay, well now I have Cryptic up. So let's just pass. 
can also snap counterspell if I want. I'm probably going to want a cryptic. Upkeep Shriekhorn. They hit a Bloodgast. Okay. At 15. Bring back Bloodgast. Doesn't have haste. I wonder if I should just tap their team here. I don't think so. Oh, they're attacking with Narcomoeba? That's aggressive. Yeah, I'm not blocking, obviously. I guess they're just trying gonna try to kill me. If they go for um conflagrate, I'm just gonna counter it. And then I get to hit with Ragavan. Do I snap counterspell or do I cryptic? I think I cryptic counter draw. Snap counterspell is not bad though. Then I hold the cryptic in my hand. They don't play anything. Okay. So I'm shocked they attacked with this. I am down to 12 and they have 5 power, so that's something. Golgari Thug. So I can play this. Then I don't have any Cryptic or anything up. I think I'm just going to let it be exiled. They also don't have any Dredgers right now. I think I'm just taking 5 one more time. I don't want them to play like another thrilling discovery or cathartic reunion or something. Wow, they're going they're going aggressive. Okay. So now I can fetch basic, go sword of feast and famine, equip, hit, untap all my lands. If they have interaction, I get wrecked, but Sword, oh, they're just F6. They played this game really weirdly, giving me a chance. I guess they get to discard a dredger here, which is not good. And then I untap my lands. They discard a, probably a stinkweed imp. So I could still lose to like. Um, oh, they discard ox. They'd rather play ox. Oh, they're going to aux and try to dredge a bunch, but I can just counter the aux, right? Oh, no, you can't counter escape. So. Discard, yes, please. I, I, know, I know, but I still need to do that. I just need to pass and then hope they don't hit double um, creeping chill or counter one of the creeping chills, tap their team. I am surprised they went for Ox. I have Cryptic and Snap Counter up. So I might be okay. Try tap their team draw. And then they're going to Ox. Or should I just go to one? I go to one, I'm kind of in trouble. And I die to one creeping chill. I think I'm just gonna go to one. Okay. Now I just need to stop everything, but I have double counter up this turn. I don't have lethal yet, but I feel like this is just going to be an ox. And then I need them to not hit triple creeping chill. So I can't counter this, right? This is an ability. Oh, no, you can cast it. Oh, yeah, so I can counter it. Let's go counter draw. I draw an island. Okay. They don't play anything else. 
Okay, I'm gonna let them discard again. Another counter spell. And I can cryptic tap their team. And then I still have snap cryptic tap their team. And then I sh will still have counter spell up. So Ragavan, it's a conflagrate. Can be played this turn. They're at six. So I can just conflagrate them. No reason to have mana up. So they're going to get to discard here. Sure. Again, I don't think there's a reason to have mana available. Okay. I'm just going to conflagrate them for six. I have enough mana, right? Conflagrate here for six. Okay. Red, red. Oh, wait. Oh, it's XX. I can't I can't do that. But I can conflagrate their team. Let's see. So this would cost six, seven, eight mana to conflagrate to kill their team. Oh, then it would go to their graveyard too. I thought it was just X and one for some reason. So I don't have enough mana to conflagrate them for six. Not even close. I have six, ten mana, and I would need thirteen mana. I couldn't have played it as an instant. So I just need to snap Cryptic and then counter their other thing and hope that's good enough. Okay. I might be fine. They dredge. They don't hit a Creeping Chill. They have another Ox, but... And another Golgari Thug. I think I might just be fine here. Snapcaster Mage. Cryptic tap draw. Tap all creatures your opponent controls. Draw a card. Draw another land. Okay. Now I can counter an ox or whatever they try to play here. They can't play two oxes because they don't have enough cards in graveyard. And then I have lethal on board now. What is this? Hard cast creeping chill? That's what it feels like. They're at five and counter. I'm trying to pay. Nice. Got there with no rest in peace the hard way. Their draw was pretty damn clunky. I mean, is Path just better than Bolt? Probably not, actually, because I can just Bolt face. And giving them a land is also kind of bad. I mean, Timely Reinforcements is great. Buys me a lot of time. And I just really want to find rest in peace. They, their draw should be a little bit more clunky because um, they said lucky draw. What? What was luck? There was no luck. <laughs> I'm definitely mulliganing this hand. No rest in peace. Oh, God. Just can't find the rest in peace. They keep seven? Jeez. Dredge, should, Dredge often mulligans a lot as well. I mean, this hand is good. It's just no rest in peace. And I'm on the draw. So, like, they're going to probably go off turn two. And I have to just naturally draw rest in peace. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if I should mulligan just down to rest in peace, basically. I mean, this hand is good. I just think I want to find rest in peace. Okay, we did. I'm going to keep. I just need to land now. Chase, you're gone. And then I can discard Cryptic because it costs four mana. I can discard Archmage Charm. should probably just discard this four drop. And just need to draw land here. And have them not do anything too crazy on turn two. 
I, actually, I need to turn one monkey, as, as bad as this is, because if they don't put creatures into play or blockers for this, then I get to uh, make a treasure and rest in peace on two. So monkey was a fantastic draw. Steam vents. Would you like to pay two life? Yes. I mean, this deck could also have one sacred foundry. Um, one land that doesn't cast Archmage Charm or Counterspell, but a red-white land that you could get untapped. It's probably better the way the mana base is built now. It's just kind of a sketchy mana base. It's just, it is what it is. Please, no blocker. Just dredge a bunch and just... Okay, please don't hit Narcomoebas. Okay, double dredger is bad. And they hit Narcomoeba. And Creeping Chill. Okay, so now I just need to top deck a land. If I do, I think I'm in good shape. Yes, they could have a hate card, but... Oh, and they have a one prized amalgam. That's beatable. Land, please. Land. Okay. So lightning bolt this and make my treasure. They get to dredge again, and then next turn I can rest in peace. I need them to not have a crazy turn next turn. That sucks. Okay, let's see what they dredge here. Another creeping chill. I go to 11. They get a blood gut, and it's too late now. Sucks. I guess if they don't have another land, Lightning Axe my Ragavan, and then attack, and that's all they have? Okay. Give me, giving me a chance here. I still need to draw another land for Stoneforge. But if I rip land land, I might be okay. Do they have wear tear? Nice draws, I tell you. I'm on one land here. <laughs> oh, one land, never mind. All right, to be fair, I was looking for, um, I, I did have to look for rest in peace, so that that is fair. Now I might just be dead. Okay, so now if I stone for it, it's just going to be too late. GG's. Dredge will do that. So two and three, I think the two and three was my fault. I think the deck honestly felt pretty good, except the mana was bad and my mulligan decisions were bad because it was my first lead with the deck. So I've been actually on a tear recently. I've like, out of the last, what, four or five leagues I've played, I think I've four won every single one. Uh, okay, so not counting this league that we just played, the last like five leagues, I think I've gone four one every time, except for one where I went 5-0. So I've been crushing it. And now I have a 2-3 league with a deck I'm not familiar with. I would want to play this deck more. It was a lot of fun. Um, the changes I would make uh, would be... Again, I couldn't get everything with my rental account, but I would probably cut Spell Snare, cut Spell Pierce, and go double Force of Negation. It would help against decks like Dredge and things like where they're, where you're too slow, where they're on the play and they go like turn 2, throw and discover, you go Force that. Then you go untap rest in peace or untap stoneforge mystic and then just get ahead that way or untap leave up counter spell they play another thrilling discovery or cathartic counter that and then like you know start going off but our draws weren't great my mulligan decisions were bad and we ended up with a two three because of it but i think the deck was good it was a fun league uh good time i think those are really the only changes i would make Probably add some engineered explosives to the sideboard. Um, not sure what I would cut. Uh, maybe the spell peers, although that's reasonable in the sideboard. Probably just maybe the subtleties, play a co two copies of engineered explosives. These seem like so-so. I guess they're good against Titan, so maybe that. But um, those are probably the only changes I would make moving forward. Thank you for watching. The channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. 
go to the channel, sub to the channel. I really appreciate that. And until next time, peace.